This town has a wicked hip vibe, lots of great restaurants and an amazing downtown to just walk around, take a look at the architecture, get some coffee, get some treats, get some barbecue. Pretty much the gateway to down east, about an hour and 20 minutes north of Augusta. Let's go take a look at Bangor. Nestled along the Penobscot River, Bangor, Maine is a charming town with a rich history and a gateway to the breathtaking Arcadia National Park. One of the oldest cities in the United States, Bangor's past is woven with stories of growth, innovation, and resilience. Bangor's history dates back to the 18th century when it was originally settled as a fur trading post by European explorers. Its location along the river contributed to its growth as a center for the shipping and lumber trade. The 19th century brought prosperity with the booming lumber and timber industry, and Bangor earned the nickname the Queen City of the East. As a major lumber port, it supplied wood for construction in cities across the nation, leaving a mark on architectural landscapes. Bangor serves as a gateway to the renowned Arcadia National Park, known for its stunning landscapes, diverse ecosystem, and outdoor recreational activities. Visitors often start their journey in Bangor, using it as a launching point to explore the natural beauty of the surrounding region. The town's cultural scene is vibrant with theaters, art galleries, and museums, showcasing local talent and preserving the area's history. The Bangor Symphony Orchestra, one of the oldest continually operating orchestras in the United States, enriches the town's cultural fabric with its performance. Today, Bangor maintains a balance between its historic significance and its modern identity. The waterfront concerts draw crowds from across the region, hosting world-renowned musicians and events along the picturesque waterfront. The Stephen King House, adorned with a distinctive spiderweb gate, is a point of interest for fans of the author's work. So Bangor has a bunch of nook and crannies that you can go and explore. They have a great restaurant scene and nightlife because University of Maine is just a few minutes away. But anyways, I know that Bangor wants you because Paul Bunyan here says so. Anyways, all this exploring gets me hungry. I need a coffee and I need to get some things to go to go meet my family. So I came to the grind house and I was happy that I did. They're whipping out some awesome breakfast sandwiches in here. And I took my coffee to go so I could go continue to take a look at the architecture. If you like videos of this zooming in on the architecture, let me know down below. We can make special videos or whatnot. Anyways, it's time to get in our car and head over for some lunch after a full morning of exploring downtown Bangor. We're heading over to a very special place that came highly recommended called Smoke and Steel. This is over by the mall, so it's a great place. I got here at 11.30, so it wasn't too busy. It's just the way that I like it. I got some collard greens and burnt ends. Let's jump into this. Let's Try these saucy burnt ends. That's a good burnt end right there. That is perfect. With a full belly, I head towards Arcadia National Park, going to Millbridge to be specific, which is north. Um, but absolutely beautiful. That's where we're going. So anyways, if you want to learn more about the area See what we're doing with the businesses and the showcases and the towns and stay up to date with the news of what's going on in real estate Head over to exploremainlife.com I'll leave that down below along with my contact information And if I can help with any of your real estate needs, just let me know if there's a business that you think that we should go take a look at a real good mom-and-pop shop Let me know We'll see you about putting them on the schedule. I'm Johnny Mo. Hope you enjoyed the show. Peace out.